Good afternoon. I'm back in the kitchen today. I'm going to be making something called mushroom ketchup. It's a sauce that predates tomato based ketchup. It was something that was used in the 18th century. I got the recipe off of another channel called Townsend's. Uh, they deal mainly with 18th century cooking and living. It's a, one of my favorite channels. And if you do check them out and subscribe, please tell them I sent you. I will leave a link in the comments. I have two pounds of edible mushrooms, a couple of packages of dried mushrooms, salt, lemon, horseradish, allspice, an onion, cider vinegar, and I have this uh, pudding bag. It's a cloth bag. You could use cheesecloth as well. So I have some cremini mushrooms, king oyster, portobello, portobello mushrooms and chanterelles. The original recipe does not use dried mushrooms but I wanted to use something that has lots of flavor. So I'm going to soak these in warm water to rehydrate them. I first finely chopped the mushrooms including the ones I rehydrated. Put them in a large mixing bowl and stirred in two teaspoons of salt. I then covered it with a plate and let it sit on the counter overnight. The next morning I added the mixture to a large cook pot, added one chopped onion, the zest of one whole lemon, one tablespoon of horseradish, a quarter teaspoon of allspice, and a half cup of cider vinegar. I simmered the mixture for 15 minutes and then let it cool. I strained it through a cheesecloth and bottled the liquid. You definitely want to dry and keep the remaining mushroom mixture. It can be used as a spice. To help speed up the drying process, I spread the mixture on a baking sheet, put it in the oven at 180 degrees for about 4 or 5 hours. 